Northern Italy's Trentino area, about 100 miles northwest of Venice, offers astonishing beauty. The craggy peaks of the Dolomite Mountains rise above quaint hillside villages. It's a dramatic landscape reflected in the small region's sparkling lines from the Trento DOC Appalachian, racy versions that marry finely honed acidity with expressive flavor and minerality. I'm senior editor Allison Napius, Wine Spectator's lead taster for the sparkling wines of Italy, and today we're exploring the Trento DOC Appalachian, whose wines are referred to collectively as Trento Doc. Joining us is Wine Spectator Associate Tasting Coordinator, Cassia Shifter. Hi, Cassia. Hi, Allison. Thanks for inviting me along to talk about this growing sparkling wine category. I'm a big fan. Whenever I'm jumping into a new region, I like to start at the beginning. The Trento DOC Appalachian was established in 1993, but these wines are built on centuries of tradition. More than 100 years ago, local vintner Giulio Ferrari returned from a trip to France's Champagne region and began experimenting with classic method sparkling wines. Today, Trento Doc counts about 60 sparkling wine producers, and the Appalachian's distinctive terroir plays a big part in the success of its sparkling wines. It's also beautiful. The Dolomites are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Trentino's tallest mountains tower above the vineyards. Over 70% of the region is more than 3,000 feet in elevation, and dozens of peaks surpass 10,000 feet. That's true. Most of the region's vineyards are planted on slopes at elevations starting around 1,000 feet and rising to nearly 3,000 feet. The warm days typical in the area help to ripen grapes, promoting expressive fruit character, while cool nights preserve acidity. Both are key to producing fine sparkling wines. Before we get to the winemaking, we should talk about the grapes, because like the winemaking method, they're the same as in Champagne. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Meunier plus Pinot Bianco, and they can be made into white or rosé sparkling wines. Exactly. The grapes are harvested by hand and then crushed and vinified into highly acidic still wines. To create the bubbles, a secondary fermentation takes place in the bottle, a principal component of the method champenoise, or classic method, required for sparkling wine production in Trento Doc. Another important component of production is extended aging on the lees. For the non-vintage classification in Trento Doc, the wines must be aged on the lees for at least 15 months. The Melisimato, or vintage dated classification, calls for a minimum of 24 months, and Reservas get no less than 36 months. And almost all wines are aged on the lees well beyond the minimum requirements, sometimes up to 10 years or more. The extended aging adds richness of flavor and aroma, textural complexity, and overall elegance and integration. Sustainability is also a key component to Trento Doc wine growing and production. Yes, 82% of the vineyard area in Trentino is certified by Italy's National Quality System of Integrated Production, aimed at minimizing the use of synthetic chemicals, water and energy, and maintaining biodiversity. We can all toast to that. And don't forget the food pairings. Trento Doc sparkling wines show a crisp and refreshing acidity, balanced by ripe, stone, berry, and citrus fruit flavors, which make them ideal complements to a wide range of dishes from all over the world. I especially enjoy Trento Doc sparkling wines with fish and pasta dishes. Sounds great to me. Cheers. Cheers.